All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you here from the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. Make sure you come on down here and grab your lunch, grab your dinner. They've got an awesome lunch buffet. They have all-you-can-eat specials during the week as well. Spaghetti and meatballs, steak, and boneless wings. This place is terrific. Awesome beers on tap and in the bottle. And while you're here, you can go next door, and you can check out uh, some of the betting uh, options uh, in terms of the races, which you see on all the monitors uh, behind me. Uh, they have all the big races all around the country basically every day of the week week as we uh, pedal towards uh, yet another Triple Crown season, uh, which will start in May with the Kentucky Derby. We'll get into Saratoga, uh, a little bit of an extended time period as well uh, out there, uh, and we'll see uh, exactly what horse maybe comes uh, comes about as being the top three-year-old in 2019. So make sure you get here to the Phoenix Sports Restaurant. Gift certificates are always available. Mike and the gang doing a great job. They can cater your event as well. It's just off of the 481 exit. If you're in the Central New York area, you get off at Phoenix. You take a quick left, another quick left, and you're right here. Come try their mac and cheese. Come try the wings. Come try the pizzas. Come try uh, any of the sandwiches or the burgers. This place is awesome, and it's a proud sponsor, of course, of the ML Sports Platter. This video is very simple. I'm going to preview the NFC Wild Card Weekend uh, coming up this weekend. We've got four games that I can't wait for. Uh, let's start with the Saturday games first. It's the Colts and the Texans. Uh, that's the uh, that's the you know early evening type of game. And and I got to tell you, I, I despite the fact that Houston has uh, home field advantage here and and they had that really long win streak during the season. I actually like the Colts in this game a lot. I think that their offensive line with Quentin Nelson and company, that whole right side, is going to be able to neutralize to a certain extent that wicked pass rush of the Houston Texans. Now, granted, J.J. Watt's a monster. Granted, Jadavian Clowney is a monster. He's playing at the level I think they thought he would play at when they picked him uh, high in the NFL draft. Uh, but I like this matchup because I think the offensive line can neutralize the Texans the Colts can counter the Texans with their run game as well. Lamar Miller with Houston. Every time I look up, he's barreling over somebody and getting into the end zone. Marlon Mack has had a fantastic second season out of South Florida this year as well. And I just like the matchup in terms of the secondary. You know, Houston reminds me a lot of Clemson in college football. The front line, superior. The back line, mm. and the secondary can get lost in translation a little bit and can get lost in space. That benefits Eric Ebron. That benefits T.Y. Hilton. I like the Indianapolis Colts in this game. Let's go Colts 31, Houston 27. In the nightcap, wow, Seahawks at the Cowboys, and I think Seattle might be the most dangerous team in the NFL playoffs at this current time. They're going at Dallas. Nobody liked Dallas. We thought Jason Garrett might have been on the hot seat. Uh, and then all of a sudden they pick up Amari Cooper and the whole season changes uh, basically in the snap of a finger. So uh, this game is going to be very intriguing to me from the standpoint of who's going to spy Russell Wilson. Lanton Van Der Esch and company and some of the linebackers that, uh, you know, White and company that the Cowboys have. Uh, somebody's got to always keep a re real straight tunnel vision eye uh, right on Russell Wilson. Uh, I would expect Van Der Esch to be one of those guys who will help spy. But to me, that's going to be a, a huge part in terms of possessions, third down conversions, and all that sort of thing in terms of that matchup with the speed and the talent of